The hormone estrogen is not only essential for the functioning of the reproductive system, but also for the cardiovascular system, the skeletal system, the nervous system, the immune system. And like all hormones, it will only affect certain cells, known as target cells, which express the appropriate receptor, the estrogen receptor. The estrogen receptor has a number of regions, including the DNA binding region I'll talk about presently, and the region which binds its ligand, estrogen, and in, I'm using in this example the major estrogen, estradiol. The receptor binds estradiol because of a pocket made by specific amino acids, especially arginine, glutamic acid, leucine, alanine, another leucine, and a histidine in precise locations, which allow it to bind estradiol. When estradiol binds this receptor, the protein receptor changes its shape, its conformation, and adopts a conformation which will now allow it to bind DNA, something that it cannot do unless mutated um, prior to estradiol binding to the receptor. The estrogen receptors typically bind the hormone estrogen near the cell membrane and then form dimers or complexes of two copies of the same protein. And this dimer with estradiol bound to it can now enter the nucleus or even the mitochondria where it can bind to DNA. While most hormones act only on the cell membrane and their activated receptor then activates second messenger systems, estrogen actually enters the cell and with its receptor enters typically the nucleus where it then binds to DNA where it can then turn on genes, take genes which otherwise were not active, and then make them active, regulating the transcription of DNA. This is because activated estrogen receptors will bind to a specific sequence of DNA, known as the estrogen response element, or ERE. The sequence given here is a consensus sequence, the sequence most typically possessed. Um, some EREs possess alternate sequences, but they do not bind estrogen as efficiently. So the sequence of guanine, guanine, thymine, cytosine, adenine, three nucleotides, which can uh, vary, followed by a thymine, guanine, adenine, cytosine, cytosine. These can then form a palindrome loop by binding together. Uh, this then is the estrogen response element to which the estrogen receptor can bind to. Genes which possess this sequence can then have the estrogen uh, response element uh, bind uh, to them, although it must bind as a dimer. Once again, two estrogen receptors would bind only to genes which possess these sequences and would thus help regulate those genes only. 